It's more than a school. It's a community of nature enthusiasts and water conservation advocates. Today, we celebrate their dedication to shaping responsible minds and their profound commitment to preserving our environment. Well, I'm Divya Devedi. I've recently joined as the principal of DPS Kamti Road, Nagpur. The school is all about uh, children learning firsthand and uh, teachers mentoring their students as role models. Uh, this is an environmentally friendly school. Our patron, Mrs. Tolikya Kedia Ji, um, the Pro Vice Chairperson and President, is she's a nature enthusiast. She is a wildlife conservationist. She is all out for uh, uh, ensuring that there is the best that we can deliver for the sake of nature the environment and children uh, live and learn in a uh, nature friendly environment. What you get to see outside here is all lush green uh, thanks to the efforts made consciously by our Pro Vice Chairperson come President Ms. Dilka Kedia Ji and her vision which has come to fruition when you get to see all the greens. Having said that, um, our children are taught about conservation of water, how to save water. Water over here is like there's a lot of what you may call it as uh, total dissolved solutes in the water. The TDS is pretty high. There are um, a lot of minerals in water. We make a lot of efforts to sort that out to you know give drinkable water portable water available to our children. We are consciously involved in what you may call as uh, clean water and sanitization, which is uh, the SDG 6 of the Sustainability Development Goals. Um, the 17 goals, I'm sure you would know about that. So we are following that seriously. And uh, there is water testing on a daily basis. There is descaling of pipes so that there is uh, you know, every other uh, treatment that is possible, we are going to be meeting it out. We do meet it out so as to provide the best to our children. There is recycling of water that takes place. There is a, a recharging of the groundwater. There is a, a dedicated STP plant. There is reuse of used water for irrigation. So I think that's that's quite a bit that we are doing in that. Well, of course, uh, there's a lot that Delhi Public School County Road is doing vis-a-vis uh, -vis saving water. First of all, we sensitize our children about uh, the limited resource that water is. Then again, not just only telling them is sufficient, we show them how and what can be done to, you know, conserve water because uh, much talked about thing and if we don't work around it, it doesn't help. Our children learn by doing. So we involve our children. Of course, poster making and slogan writing is, is just the tip of the iceberg. We make our children understand through the processes that we have put in place at school. Like I was telling you earlier about um, the rainwater harvesting, the recharge pits that we have created, the recycling of water that there is. So we make children see that and uh, you know experience it firsthand so that they know in turn the importance of water as a resource. If we do not monitor water waste Stage, we go on using, rather misusing the water resource indiscriminately uh, because we would not know where to stop and how much there is. So A, the requirement of the society at large to know the importance of the scarcity of water and where it will lead us to. You know, it's been already said and it's a lot spoken about that the third world war is going to be fought over water. As it is, we have started getting water in packaged condition, water bottles. All of us would have bought water and, you know, uh, sipped from it. But how much that packaged water is in turn harming the environment is a point to ponder. Now that said, indiscriminate use of water would lead us to doomsday 
coming nearer as compared to what it would be later so yeah that's what i would like to say well yes um, schools colleges institutes are places of learning overuse or indiscriminate use or rather misuse of water in these places would lead to lasting mindset that yes water is something that you can use loosely with which it actually is not in fact here is the place where we should instill in the student that uh, water is a scarce resource and that it use it it is supposed to be used mindfully not mindlessly so yes the impact of water usage at school is a lasting one delhi public school kamti road like i said is a very environmentally conscious school now that said we watch what we spend in terms of water like i was telling you earlier the next war could be over water now earlier wars were uh, you know waged for wealth now this war could be over water now it is something that needs to be spent very carefully and we are conscious of that we not just only conserve water we ensure that water that is doled out to our children is safe for drinking that the amount of water that we take from the earth is measured monitored and that the, we give back to mother earth a bit of portion of what we take from it and uh, not just only environment friendly we are actually working towards making it a reality for the uh, rest of the world also by practicing what we preach so there is a uh, rainwater harvesting there is recycling of water there is a uh, recharging of uh, the earth water ground water there is a uh, descaling there is softening of water there is a uh, measuring of how much of water that we consume so we are monitoring how much of water we are consuming this is all this is besides the you know uh, sensitization efforts that we make to sensitize our children this, there there are slogan drives there are um, drawing competitions there are uh, you know debates and quizzes around water and the works well to my understanding um, the flow meter is um, a wonderful gadget which uh, helps us keep in perspective how much is our expenditure of this you know fast depleting resource which we should be mindful of our expenditure so the power of data is like um, a reality these days we're talking about the data that the dhara flow meter generates on a daily basis it keeps us posted and when you uh, work on data it gives you a deep perspective into what are our consumption patterns and uh, how much is it on a certain given day and um, how can we uh, temper or mold it or improve upon it so that uh, you know the trends will tell you which direction should we go to everybody a we should be mindful of our expenditure of water consumption patterns we should be mindful of then um, like we are a school so any organization if we are consciously involved in doing something it will make an impact it will make a difference so my two cents would be that uh, we should not be indiscriminate about our use of uh, water and uh, about the use of any resource for that matter and that's what will save the world this precious resource i would like to say to all the viewers out there you know there is this mindfulness that needs to come about the usage of water and it is something very serious uh, that we should all wake up to otherwise uh, it will be very in the near future that we'll realize that uh, it's become too late